Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to a new video. Uh, this video, I'll be discussing about the Easy Debug Inputs tool and how to use it. Basically, the Easy Debug Inputs is what you will need to help yourself figuring out the input issues. Uh, usually, if your game gets complex, your character controller gets complex, inputs get complex, and you have combos and several things, there is a very high possibility that you get bugs. You see things happen, but you don't know what was the sequence, what was happening, and so on and so forth. At the same time, it's a good way to see how people playing your game. So, in this video, I'll be showing how you can enable and use this tool. I have already imported the tool here, as you see. Uh, I did nothing. This is a third-person uh, tutorial, a third-person template. So, I hit play. There is nothing fancy here, it's just a third person can move and run. Same thing you probably use for this. All what I'm going to do now, after importing the, the, the plugin, I'm going to open the, the character blueprint and add a component here called Easy Debug Inputs. This controller has some options. It's not that much options, but it's really helpful. Let's see what happens just by adding this component without changing anything. So I'm going to compile and save and put this here. Start playing, and now I can see on the screen uh, uh, Xbox One controller. Uh, I still move and run and do my stuff, but nothing happened. Uh, basically, this uh, component needs some events to work. So I'm going to come here. You are not going to do anything. Just go to the plugin and open the sample character and just copy this node i'm gonna copy this node add to my third person controller that's it compile and save and all the magic happens now if i start moving i see like uh, the the left thumbstick have a red color if i jump i see what what i press if i for example press start or press the d-bat two buttons one button if i start moving the camera if i move and move the camera and jump at the same time you keep seeing those inputs and this is very helpful if you're recording a, a video for the gameplay or uh, if you are uh, like you're doing QA and you're testing and you're recording all the QA sessions. This is really, really helpful because when you get uh, uh, a problem that is you sure or even not sure that is related to inputs, you can go through the video and you can see the sequence and then you can figure out what or what's the reason for the problems. So... Uh, this is basically how you can enable, how you can use the tool, but you can do some uh, little funny stuff. So you can select here the easy inputs. And because you can ship this within your game, within the, 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 the packaged game for console, Xbox, or PlayStation, or uh, Nintendo Switch, or PC, so you can have this there and you can uh, enable this. Like you can get the component in, and then you can. You can set enabled and then you can uh, like enable or disable this from code. At the same time, you can do some changes. Uh, you can select what type of controller. You can say PlayStation 4, for example. You can play. Then you have a PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, you can switch this to Nintendo Switch. It's a Nintendo Switch now. Uh, or you can, for example, say, okay, I because my game have UI and having the, the debug input here is really going to be painful for my game experience or for my testing experience because there are UI here. Uh, this will not work good. So you can come to the component, you can select wherever you want this. You have like, um, like nine places. It's basically the default anchors uh, for any UI element. So you can say, for example, bottom right. And you can say this is going to be PS4 and you need the controller to look like a PS4 like it's a very dark gray thing and maybe uh, the, the, the controller buttons by default are, are like kind of half white half gray something and maybe when the buttons pressed it give a green color for example and then you can save this and compile and you see the same thing at the lower right and you see the controller with the exact same colors you choose the same color scheme you choose so this is basically how you can use the tool and it's really really helpful it helped me a lot in my games in figuring out the inputs issue which happens a lot with complex games and i hope this helps you don't 
hesitate to send feedback or recommendations for the upcoming versions and see you soon bye